हेलो इन्वेस्टर्स वेलकम बैक टू मार्केट का ज्ञान आई एम नरेंद्र सोलंकी टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक व्हिच इज करेंटली इन द माइंड्स ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी इन्वेस्टर और ईच एंड एवरी पर्सन हु इज एनी व्हिच वे रिलेटेड टू द मार्केट्स बी इट इक्विटीज बी इट फिक्स्ड इनकम बी इट एनी अदर मार्केट व्हिच एट लीस्ट व्हिच इज रिलेटेड विद एनी फाइनेंशियल थिंग्स बट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट डोंट फॉरगेट to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the important updates so let us start today's topic is on market cycle yes today we will discuss about a market cycle and how it operates and what are its different stages and how various asset classes relates and perform as to this market cycle so basically there are two components of market cycles and four stages so the two components are liquidity and growth so whenever any change is happening either in the liquidity or in the growth the market cycle starts to change so as we have already been seen since past few quarters or few months that interest rates are rising and globally all the central banks have started on a red line cycle so let us start with a rising cycle so what happens is when interest rates rise the liquidity gets tightened and when liquidity gets tightened the growth slows and when growth slows the overall markets starts to have a slower performance in terms of returns so when this slowing growth cycle is at its peak then what happens is that the uh, the central bank starts to decrease the rates and when the central bank starts to decrease the rates the overall growth starts to pick up when growth starts to pick up liquidity also increases and when liquidity increases the markets like equities and bonds equity starts to perform better and is negative for the bonds and when liquidity increases the inflation also starts to increase so when inflation increases then again we come at a new stage in the cycle in which the central bank again starts to constrain the liquidity so this is how a full cycle is operated you will see a chart of this full cycle explained in this video now what happens in all these stages is that when the liquidity tightens the equities and bonds don't perform so it is negative in that cycle and when growth slows it is negative for the equities but positive for the bonds because interest rates starts to rise and when liquidity improves and inflation falls it is positive for both equities and bonds because we are at the trough end of the cycle and when the growth rises it is positive highly positive for the equities and from here onwards bonds starts to under perform the equity so this is how all the four stages of this cycle operates so right now we are almost at the peak end of the red line cycle and from here onwards our next cycle will start where we would see inflation coming down interest rates interest rates peaking and maybe coming down after few quarters and then growth starts to pick up so it's the best is where it is going to be positive for the equity axis as explained in this cycle so that is how a market cycle operates and this is for the today thank you investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing